was good. It's your favorite Bronx site, Nova Church. And it's like six in the morning. So you know it's super dark. I'm walking uphill in Claremont Park. I'm like power walking. So I'm a little out of breath. Got my cafe. This year I've been cutting down on the coffee. I've been having like one cup a day or not. I've been uh, swapping it out for some tea just because I feel like sometimes coffee don't benefit me. I'm already too lit. It's too dark. Oh, let's get it too lit. Are we too lit? Yeah, I feel like I need to dial that down so I can control my, my headspace a lot better. Sun is out, baby. This is like blinding. Look, look at this. Woo. It's gonna be a beautiful day. To oh snap! Takashi Six Nine just came out of jail. Check it out. All right, it's go time. So, we started off in the Bronx, we gonna end it in the Bronx. Now, I made a, I just made an executive, an executive decision. It's a clip on, it's a clip on, don't worry about that. So I made an executive decision, I will be running to my run group, to run. That's three runs. Hmm? I said it three times, that's right. So I'm about to run life. Now, I'm not stripping. So these are the sneakers that uh, I've been wearing for the last month or so. Uh, I'm about to get some new ones, but I always rock with Hoka. I normally get the Bondi one ones. Those are like the best ones for me, but I really like this one. These are the Gavoita. Gavoita? You can see right there, right? So these are really good. Support, you see, you got the thick sole. These are called Dynamic Stability soles they have a lot of support um and i got these uh sure foot arches these are mid arches because i have flat feet and when you have flat feet your your feet tend to tire quicker than someone who would have an arch but i don't let that hold me back sneakers for my type of feet and i have hip issues so these take away from the impact that shot through my legs as I run on concrete since I run the streets. You dig? Oh, look at Trumpy. Oh boy. We do about 8.30 a mile. We just hit mile two. Just get it, baby. Check out Central Park. I'm running on the outside because I don't feel like doing no hills. Once I get to my running group, we're gonna run. So now, I'm just moving faster than I will with the group. And when I get there, we're gonna chill for about three plus miles. Chill for me. Some people gonna be different levels. Some people gonna feel great. Some people not that much. It's a hot day, so we made it to the end of the park. As you can see, we gonna cross over into Harlem. So we ran on the west side of Central Park, about three miles. Now we crossing over to Harlem, baby. Had to take off that hoodie, it was hot. You don't know what kind of weather we gonna have anymore. Last week it was 40 below. This week I'm in a short sleeve shirt. Crazy. Oh man, tight spot. Garbage truck called the that is not a good, that's not a good way to park. You're blocking the track like across up the street, like crazy. So today, your boy Trumpy is gonna be doing the State of the Union, and I'm gonna make a prediction. First prediction, he's gonna release six nine from jail, and the second one is he gonna get 21 Savage to stay, and then he gonna get all the votes. Not nah. <laughs> clown, like careful out here. In the, in the bike lane, cause uh, concrete beat up the knees, baby. We out here, 124th Street, about to hit 125, passing the legendary Apollo Theater. Woo. 
It's right over here. About a little more than halfway there. We gonna hit these angles. Big J Crow. Almost there. We about two miles away. Maybe three. Maybe two and a half. Two and a half miles away. We about to cross into the Bronx. We run faster than New York City public transportation. So we just made it to the 145th Street Bridge. Heading home. Well, to my home borough, the Bronx. Where we're gonna meet with Bronx So. And we're gonna do, I believe, three point something. And uh, so my total will be around nine plus. That's not bad for a Tuesday after standing up on my feet all day. Right, we starting our run. They made the, the mistake of letting me lead the group. Cause we about to go to the to the most gringiest block. Nah nah, we gonna have a good run. Y'all ready to have a good run? Yeah. <laughs> we out here by the bodega. By the bodega. Which one? Pick one. There's a lot in the Bronx. Get hot, it's getting hot. Getting hot. It's 40 below last week. It's about 120 right now. I think we lost. Uh, where we? See right there? That's. See that hill right there? You don't want to talk about it? But let's let's look at it though. Let's appreciate it. You know, before we conquer it. Is there a way to go around the hill? Nah, we gotta go straight through it. We're going to 167th Street. D train stop. Check out the new station. They closed down the subway for a few months and redesigned it. And they got some really nice things. I don't want to tell you yet, because I'm going to show you. I got my new homie here. Mr. Track Star, he about to... You're going to hit that five, bro. Under five, bro. I'm out, you heard? Yeah, baby. I can't do that. I can't do that. All right, we here. Oh, there they go. They here. Check out the new station. It's cool. It feels good. I don't know. It feels good. It's cool. It's cool. It is cool down here. All this open space. You know. Y'all hop the train already? You swipe. So. so look how low these things are. Like you could jump over that. Oh look. We got more of the gang coming in. Right over here. Yo, you can't be rocking pants like that when I'm rocking pants like that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Get my, out of my closet. First Get of all, closet. first of all, my legs are super skinny, so don't don't stand next to me because my legs is gonna look like I like I skip leg day. Hop, hop the train, baby. Hop in the train. All you gotta do is ask. We ask to get in the subway for free, just so we could see what. See this new station. Everybody's here. Everybody, grab your partner's hand. Buddy system. Buddy system. Buddy one, and they hold hands and go. Buddy one. Maybe, maybe that's how we gotta do it. How, how do you go? Buddy one, one. Buddy two, two. Buddy three, three. All the way to thirteen. Maybe we should do that with Bronx. So create a buddy system. 
See, you see that? Ten see, years. ten years, one not one kid lost. Not one kid lost. We beat together, we get back together. That's it. Oh, here we go. So, our historical stop is, is James Ball. So, this is the closest we can get to him. Because he went to... Did everyone see him? He won the lottery, you know, for being black and gay, and <laughs> so yeah, and out. So um, his stepdad was was a preacher and was really mean to him. So he spent all of his time um, going to libraries. He said on One Thirty Fifth Street Library, he spent all his time. He said he read every book that was there just to get away from his stepdad. It wasn't he didn't start his writing until he went to high school in the Bronx. So it was it was the Bronx. So we can claim that one. Because he didn't start writing until he was in high school and he wrote for and he became an editor for the school paper. He moved to Paris. He was also in, in um, where else? He was somewhere else. He fought for humanity because his, his main issue was that black people weren't being treated as their humans. And so he moved away, but then he ended up moving back. And he ended up moving back to Harlem. Yeah, so Senor Mayor. That's your boy? What you got? 3.6 Willie, what you got, Willie? called Room to Grow that's looking for soon to be new moms to give clothing and toys and they will actually get you a crib and all the things that you oh, need wow. for your new baby so if you know of anybody that is pregnant and that is gonna have a baby soon follow um, at Room to Grow on Instagram and I am them to, to apply for the program all right that was about nine miles in the book son you already know anyways we signing out Strong soul. We did our whole stretch session and all that. Like, share, subscribe. You like anything you see? Blah 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 blah.